Hello YouTube, uh, hello my Facebook friends, my family, uh, and people that know me. Um, I've been uh, researching free energy for the last uh, five years. Um, I've been, uh, I've often seen that uh, people like Tesla and Myers were, um, were, were never given the credit that they deserved. Um, Myers, um, Myers spent uh, you know, a good deal of his life trying to figure out how to use water as a fuel source. Um, I'm going to quickly give you uh, an explanation, just a very simple explanation of how this technology works. Um, if you take water mist and pass it through uh, a plasma field, you guys can go on aquapulsar.com. They, uh, they do show um, that it actually takes half of the energy to make a plasma spark over a conventional uh, ignition spark. They... Um, um, so yeah, um, so what Myers did was he passed uh, water mist through a plasma field. Water breaks down at about 2500 degrees. Um, so once this happens, the water turns instantly into hydrogen and oxygen gas. And because it's going through a, um, such a large plasma, uh, plasma field or plasma spark, it actually um, may do this several times. It may actually happen two to five times that the water will go into um, into its thermal reaction where it changes from uh, H2O to HH, HHOO and um, and then it uh, goes back into water and naturally recombines so um, Myers figured out a way of, of actually slowing down this burn um, he actually had um, water uh, he, what he said was water would burn um, at a 2.5 more efficiency rate than gasoline. So you take a liter of gasoline, you take a liter of water, well you're going to go 2.5 uh, more longer of a distance on that uh, on that same amount of, of fuel. So this doesn't necessarily mean over unity, you're still using a fuel source but the fact is is that water is clean, it, it has no pollutants um, and it recombines on its own so it's uh, it's not like you're wasting a product where you're taking gas turning it into carbon and toxic waste uh, you know not to mention all the crap that went into the Gulf of Mexico with B the BP oil spill um, there, there's about uh, four million barrels of oil a year that that, that gets spilled and uh, we're not made aware of this we we, we don't uh, um, we're our governments don't care to tell us about this stuff. Um, so after giving you that brief uh, description, um, Myers also said that um, a, the atomic energy of one gallon of water is equal to that of 1.2 million barrels of oil. So if you take that water and you recombine it, you recycle it, you can keep reusing that water over and over and over again. It's a fuel that will that is constantly renewed. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm constantly bothered by, um, by the, um, I don't even know how to say it, but the people that have, have dedicated their life, Tesla dedicated his life, he was going to give us free energy, wireless free energy. He, uh, he figured out how to tap into, um, uh, 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 an energy source, uh, which has, uh, been called many things, um, dark matter, um, uh, energy from wormholes. Um, which may make you skeptical, but you know, make sure you just research something before you uh, you automatically assume that it that it's it's wrong. Um, that's another thing that I'm constantly seeing. People are going online and they're seeing things, and then automatically they say it doesn't exist. It's not true. Well, how do they know? They're they're ignorant to the topic. They have to go and find out. Um, you know, I, I can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do, but the thing is is that if you constantly say, okay, that can't be done, well, then you're never going to see it happen. Um, there, there are many problems going on with this world right now, and everybody just wants to turn the sh turn around, uh, you know, look the other way. Well, you got to stop doing that. Um, there, there's places like uh, Egypt. They just, they, a great thing that just happened there. But the thing is is that they're, they're, fight is still not over. Um, Libya, people are riding all over North America right now trying to speak out for their their, for their friends in Libya and their family. Uh, they want freedom. 
I just uh, was received a, a YouTube um, email uh, message on my Facebook saying that um, their government actually tried to send fighter pilots to bomb the protest protesters. Like, give me a break! Like, um, just so many things are going wrong, and no one seems to be doing anything about it. So I figured that I would get on here, tell people that free energy does exist. It absolutely exists. And I challenge any of you to, to use YouTube as a tool to find it. Um, look up Cold Fusion 9. He shows that you can use water as fuel. He show he doesn't show that he's using plasma, but it is definitely plasma that he's using. He, he, he has like a spark, uh, sorry, a f um, thermal reaction coming off of that about this big. Um, I, I, I've got friends that are, that are also studying Meyer's work. Um, there, I have a really, uh, I have a few friends that actually are very advanced in this stuff, and um, the the plan is actually to, uh, for myself, is I'm going to be releasing a kit um, this spring that uses water as a fuel source, and it, it isn't using it how most people are. You can buy a kit online right now that uses um, water as fuel. Um, they say, you know, help clean the environment, help do this, help do that. Well, they're using chemicals like um, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Some use salt, some use vinegar. You know, they, they use whatever they can to pull current into the water. Well, that's not Myers' work. Myers used high voltage. Um, the high voltage um, ended up being able to do something that sucked in ether. It ended up creating more energy, um, which is uh, the dark matter or... Um, there's just so many things that that um, people refuse to go out and find and learn, and um, you know I it just it, it I have to do something about it. Um, I I've just also recently found out the Warden Cliff um, facility that Tesla had in New York has uh, been put up for sale. Um, that place is a monument. Um, the, the smartest man that walked this planet was Tesla. He knew so many things that that we could not figure out. Um, and he was ridiculed for it because he was way past his time. Um, it's just like in the olden days when people would be able to, uh, you know, take, say they figured out the formula for gunpowder and then make a big poof. Well, that person was considered a witch. Same sort of thing happened with him. Um, there are, um, the, I have a feeling that within the next, um, say, 10 years, um, there is going to be a lot of stuff that has been brought out. Um, and because of Tesla and Myers and people trying to figure out his technology, um, there can actually be something done about this toxicity level that we're being forced to to do. Um, I just recently found out that in Ottawa, where um, there was, there's a guy that works at a nuclear power plant just downstream, and uh, he said that um, people are uh, um, the government is allowing a specific amount, saying that it's uh, I'm sorry of toxic waste that is within reason. I'm sorry, but toxic waste is not reason. There's nothing that should be allowed about that. Um, it, Myers Technology had also figured out how to um, uh, clean water, and his brother lives in BC. Um, he works for Exogen, and uh, I suggest any of you guys check that out. Um, basically, what that um, technology is is using um, using uh, I, I'd have to say using um, steel to induce a magnetic field on uh, two opposite polarities which uh, attract um, positive and negative um, particles so that way whatever is in the water will be attracted to these particles um, it, again um, the way how this world is operated does not have to happen like this anymore it, um, it is disgusting um, my, my kit will be coming out this spring um, it will be first uh, you know, there, there's another guy that actually makes a kit as well. He uses uh, water as fuel, um, and um, he, uh, he uses an alternator, which makes things a bit tricky, but, you know, he's still doing it. Um, mine will not use an alternator and make things a little bit more simple. Um, and, uh, yeah, I uh, my, my uh, website will be called um, IUseWaterAsFuel.com. Um, I'm having a friend help me build that right now. Um, so uh, I, I'm not doing this to raise my own publicity. I, I'm just letting you guys know that there is hope in the future. There are people that, that have been learning the technology that do plan to get it out. Um, and I'm one of them. Uh, and uh, any of you have any questions, please feel free to, to send me a message in here. Um, and uh, 
I'll be more than willing to try and help. Um, I'm also uh, working on another project called the GEAT, the Vortex um, Plasma Heat Exchanger. Um, it, uh, it basically, um, it's a cavitation device. A cavitation device is basically something that, um, uh, with vacuum, uh, allows a very tiny amount of space for whatever you're passing through it, and this, so it would be like, here, let me see if I can make a quick, ex quick example. Okay. And I can't. So, um, it would be like having um, a tube like this and having a rod go inside of it. And when that rod spins extremely fast, it creates um, heat because it's causing friction on the water. Um, so basically what um, Paul Pantone did was figure out the same thing. Um, and what also happens is because that rod spins so fast, it's actually pulling in the ether. It, uh, it, it creates um, a plasma field. And um, this, um, they're using gasoline with this, crude oil, vegetable oil, whatever they can put into this thing, and it runs an engine. Um, I've got one. Um, I will actually be uh, posting videos of that as well. And um, yeah, I'm going to cut this uh, message short, and uh, I'll be making more videos. Um, if you guys need any help or questions, I'm more than willing to help. Um, if we make this all this technology open source, it can change the world. Um, so yeah, take care. I'm out.